Welcome to Windfall Edutech Beginners Module. Chapter 3. Various terminologies you will have to know in life of equity market. Face value. All companies in India issue shares with a fixed denomination called the face value or par value of the share as per the books of the company. The face value of a share has no relation with the market value of that share. Market price – share price. It is the price at which at which the share is traded in the market. It reflects what you and me think about the share, not necessarily what the company is worth. For example, companies that are growing quickly often trade at a higher price than the company might currently be worth. Share prices are also affected by all forms of company and market news. Free float. Free float of the public company refers to that proportion of shares which are open for trading by you and me. Many major benchmark indices are calculated on the free float market capitalization method. Long and short position. In equity market, share is bought on one day and the delivery for the said stock takes place after few days. Of course with the intention of price rise and earning profit by selling the share at higher price. This is called as an overbought position and since the investors are longing to buy first, it is called as long position. On the other hand, if the investors sell the share first with the intention of buying it later at a cheaper price and make delivery is called as the short position. 52 weeks high, low, X rights date, X dividend date. 52 weeks high, low. The highest and lowest price of the stock in the last one year. X rights date. The date after which stocks are traded without the subscription rights. X dividend date. The first day on which the owner of the share is not entitled to the dividend. EPS earnings per share. The net profit of the company divided by total number of its outstanding shares. An indicator of a company's profitability i.e. how much share of the profit will be allocated to each outstanding share of the company. It is considered as a very important measure in determining the share price of the company is a major component used for calculating highly used ratio in stock market namely i.e. P.E. ratio. P.E. ratio. It is derived by dividing the price of stock by EPS of the company. This ratio is used to determine whether the stock trading in the market is overvalued, undervalued or fairly priced. For example, if the current price of the stock is 50 and EPS is 5, that means P.E. will be 50 fifths equals to 10. It indicates that stock is trading at multiple of 10 to its one-year earnings. Market capitalization. Market cap of the company is derived by total number of outstanding shares multiplied by current price of the firm. For example, if a company has 50 lakh outstanding shares and its current market price stands at rupees 40, then in that case market cap of the company works out to be 20 crore. It is used by you and me to determine the size of the company. Stock Exchange. Securities Contract Act, 1956 defines stock exchange as any body of individuals, whether incorporated or not, formed for the purpose of assisting, regulating and controlling the business of buying, selling or dealing in securities. Stock exchange can be of two types namely regional and national stock exchange. Stock exchange can be of two types namely regional and national stock exchange. Mutual fund. It is a pooled investment trust, which takes money from all the investors, you and me and corporate, and invest in wide variety of financial instruments or securities such as equity shares and debt securities such as gov security, bond, debentures etc. Mutual funds are considered as financial intermediaries between the investors and the capital market. They are considered as financial intermediaries between the investors and the capital market. Mutual fund issues units to the investors. Any appreciation in the mutual fund portfolio will result into appreciation of unit value held by the investors. Index. It is a basket of shares and the average price movement of basket of shares indicates the index movement. Sensex and Nifty are two most popular indexes of India.
In addition, there are various other index products such as BSE 100 Index, BSE 200 Index, BSE 500 Index, BSE PSU Index, BSE Mid Cap Index on Bombay Stock Exchange and CNX Nifty Junior, CNX 100, S&P CNX 500, Nifty Mid Cap 50, S&P CNX Defty etc. Depository. A bank or company which holds funds or securities of investors in electronic form through a registered depository participant. It is at depository, where the exchange of shares take place. Depository can be easily compared to a bank, as just like a bank holds funds of depositor, depository also holds securities of investors. At present there are two depositories namely, National Securities Depository Limited NSDL and Central Depository Services India Limited CDSL are registered with SEBI. Depository Participant DP. It is a registered agent of depository through which it interfaces the investors and provides depository services. Public financial institutions, commercial banks, state financial corporation, foreign banks, custodians, stock brokers, NBFCs, clearing corporation, SEBI compliant registrar to the issue or share transfer agent can be registered as DP. Daymod account. It is an account where the shares are traded in the equity market and is stored in an electronic format. To open a Daymod account you will have to approach a depository participant, DP. Although you have the choice to receive the securities in physical as well as daymod mode, the latter is always preferred as the former has the risk of being fake, forged or stolen. Most of the banks are also DPs, as are many brokers. Dematerialization. It is the process of converting the physical stock certificate of investors to equivalent number of securities in electronic form. Securities once dematerialized are credited to the investor's account through his depository participant. Dematerialization is mandatory in India and mostly all the trading takes place in dematerialized form. Investors having physical stock certificate can demot their shares as per the specified procedure. Face value of share, debenture. It is the nominal, stated amount assigned to the security by company. The term face value implies differently to shares and bonds. For shares, face value implies the original cost of the stock shown on the certificate. For bonds, face value is the amount paid at maturity to the holder. For equity, face value is not that relevant to the price of the stock, which might be quoted at premium or discount in the market. For debt security, it is the price at which it trades is dependent on interest rate fluctuations in the economy. Premium and discount in security market. Share which is sold above its face value is said to be sold at premium. Share which is sold at less than its face value, it is said to be sold at discount. SEBI guidelines. New companies can offer the shares at premium although subject to certain stipulated conditions. Prospectus and abridged prospectus. Disclosure about the reason for raising the money, how the money is going to be utilized, expected return on this money, current status of the company, current and past financial performance the project, product line, etc. is included in prospectus. Abridged prospectus is a shorter version of prospectus. The information enables the investors to evaluate the prospects of the company. Corporate actions. Actions taken by the listed companies to bring about a definite change in price to increase traffic of investors. They are promoted in consensus with directors of company and approved by shareholders. Some of the examples of corporate action are dividends, stock splits, rights issues, bonus issues, merger, acquisition etc. Dividend. An investor can earn returns on equity by the appreciation in the value of share and by dividend. Issued by companies twice a year in the form of interim and final dividend. It is an important source of income for shareholders and is usually expressed on per share basis such as 6 per share. Dividend payment by the company indicates how much profits are paid by the company and how much are plowed back into business. Directors of the company have the right to decide whether they need to pay dividend to shareholders or not in accordance with the company's condition. Rolling settlement. All the open positions, buy and sell, at the end of a trading day mandatorily result into payment, delivery after two days. 
For example, if a trade is executed on Wednesday, it is mandatorily settled by Friday. The funds and securities pay in and pay out is done on T plus two days. Pay in day is the day when the shares that have been sold are delivered to the exchange and funds are made available by the buyers. Pay out day is the day when securities purchased are delivered to buyers and the funds for the securities sold are given to sellers. Book closure record date enables the company to find out how many shareholders of the company has open positions on the particular date. It implies closing of investors' names register in the company's records. Benefits such as dividend, rights issue, bonus issue are entitled to those investors whose name appears in company's books as on the record date. Many companies declare book closure date well in advance which gives an opportunity to investors to buy the shares of the company and get their name duly registered in company's register. No delivery period, X date. When a book closure date is announced by company, a no delivery period is announced by the exchange on that company's stock. During no delivery period, trading is permitted on the particular stock, though the settlement is done only after the no delivery period is over. This is done by the exchange in order to determine investors' entitlement for corporate benefit. First date of this non-delivery period is called X date. Any corporate actions for shares, buyer in these shares on or after the X date will not be entitled for any corporate action benefits. Annual report. Financial statement issued on yearly basis by companies, institutions. It constitutes the financials and all other data which will be of relevance to shareholders. An abridged version of annual report is sent by companies to shareholders at absolute free of cost. Shareholders have right to detailed annual report upon request. For an investor, annual report of the company is a way to gauge the financial health of the company. Option, arbitration. In the event of non-delivery of shares on the pay-in day, stock exchange takes up the responsibility of buying the shares in the auction market and giving it to the buying trading member. This ensures that the buyer gets his shares. Arbitration refers to the method of resolving disputes between the trading members and their clients with regards to the trades done on the exchanges. Arbitration mechanism is used only when a resolution is not arrived at by normal grievance redressal mechanism. Bonus shares. Free shares given by company as a way to reward shareholders. Bonus is declared at the discretion of board of directors that form the management of the company. Company who declares the bonus issue converts its idle cash into shares, a process which is called as capitalizing of reserves. Bonus is often declared in the form of ratio say for e.g., 1 to 1 means, the shareholder of the company will receive one free share for each share held by them. Stock split. When a company declares stock split, its existing shares of particular face value get split into smaller denominations, which increases the number of shares. For example, if the company which has 2 crore shares at face value of 10, market value of 50, has announced a 2 in 1 split, it results in to following changes. Face value of the company will be reduced to 5 rupees and market price of the company will change to 25 rupees increasing the number of outstanding shares to 4 crore. Buy back of shares. When a company intends to invest in itself and buys back its shares from their existing shareholders thereby improving its share liquidity. Buyback reduced the total number of outstanding shares in the market. Before making a buyback, the company has to declare pre and post buyback holding of the promoters of the company. As per the SEBI regulation, company is permitted to buy back shares from existing shareholders, open market, shareholders holding odd lot shares. Correction. When markets are on the upswing for quiet a few days, but suddenly crash after few days of upswing, it is termed as correction. For example, if on Monday, markets rise to 15,500, on Tuesday markets rise to 16,400, on Wednesday markets rise to 17,200, but on Thursday, suddenly the market crashes down to 16,300, this fall to 16,300 is termed as correction in the market. Experts interpret these corrections are actually positive in nature resulting into transfer of ownership from weak hands. Squaring off, rally, crash. 
a process where the traders or investors buy or sell the shares and reverse their transaction at the end of trading hours. This is called as day trading, where the traders buy and sell securities on the same day itself. Rally as the name suggests is the gain made by the indexes such as Sensex and Nifty on a particular day. Rally is the gain made by the indexes such as Sensex and Nifty on a particular day. However, if such gains are made by the indexes continuously for 4 to 5 days, it is termed as market rally. Crash means fall in the value of Sensex or Nifty during a particular period. Bid and ask prices. Both buyers and sellers in stock market set prices at which they need to buy or sell their stock. Buyer states the price that he will pay for the stock which is called as the bid price. Whereas the seller also has a price called as the ask price. Role of the stock exchange is to facilitate the coordination of the bid and ask prices. Difference between the bid and ask is the spread and is kept as the profit by the broker. Short sale. It is a market transaction which involves the trader selling the borrowed shares and is required to return the specific quantity of shares at a specified time in future. Share certificate is issued. Trader who does short selling anticipates the share price to decline. It is an advanced strategy which involves taking unique risk and drawbacks. Equity shares. Equity share is most often referred as ordinary share and represents the form of fractional ownership in company. It does not have preferential right in respect of payment of dividend or in the repayment of capital at the time of winding of the company. Equity shares are risk-bearing shares because they are the actual owners of the company, thus whenever the company runs into losses they have to bear the losses. Debt instruments. It's a contract in which one party lends money to another party, on pre-determined basis with regards to the rate and period of interest as well as repayment of principal by borrower to lender. There are three features of debt instrument i.e., maturity, coupon, principal. Maturity is the date on which borrower has agreed to repay to principal. Coupon rate are the periodic interest payments that the borrower has to make to lender. Principal is the amount that has been borrowed and is also the face value or par value of the bond. Zero coupon bond. Zero coupon bonds don't have any coupon rate. Zero coupon bonds are issued at the discount to the face value and are redeemed at the face value on maturity. Upon the maturity, investor receives one lump sum that is equal to initial investment plus the accumulated interest. Convertible bond. A bond which gives right to bond holder to convert them into equity shares in a fixed ratio at a specified period. From company's point of view, issuing convertible bond will result into avoidance of negative interpretation amongst investors, i.e. if a listed company issues further stock, investors might think that the company's share price is overvalued. From investors' point of view, convertible bonds would be more of a value-add product considering its dual features of bond and stock option as well. Convertible bond generally offers lower rate of return on account of its convertibility option. Treasury bills. These are issued by Government of India on regular basis as a short-term, one-year, investment offer. These are highly liquid instruments available both in primary market as well as secondary market. They are issued at discount and are redeemed at par. Government securities. Considered to be the safest form of debt securities since they are backed by government. They give higher returns as compared to fixed deposits. They are issued through auction process conducted by the Treasury and are later on traded on the -the over-the-counter market. Commercial paper. It is an unsecured loan given by corporation in order to finance the short-term or working capital requirements of companies. Maturity for a commercial paper is below one year which makes it an ideal source of avenue for sourcing short-term funds. More often, companies with high credit ratings issue commercial paper. Thank you. Revise and get ready for the next.